Hello there, my name is Makors and welcome to BBS 1.2.7 changelog video. Before we'll get into features, I have an important announcement to make. BBS mod won't receive any community updates after 1.2.7. The main reason for this is that I no longer find BBS mods development fulfilling or fun. The one thing I want to address is that a lot of people have suggested that BBS mod should go open source. I'm not going to open source BBS mod because I don't believe it will help the community. BBS mod is very complicated and it will take someone great to develop new features, which is a slim chance. It will benefit only the people who would want to make private edit for YouTubers. For more information, see latest announcement on this consider. So that out of the way, let's get into features. Here we have two keyframe sections. The left one is some bokken, and then on the right side it's a head bopping basically talk animation. There is a gap between these two keyframe sections where you can see that the transition between them is not seamless. To fix the transition, so basically to make it seamless, there is a new feature called adjust values. So the way it works is that you select all the keyframes on one side and then only one keyframe on the other side. And then I will do it for X, Z, Peach, Yo, Head, Yo, and Body, Yo. And then I'm gonna click Adjust Values. Then I have a choice between the left and the right side. Since we have the main mass of keyframes on the left side, we have to adjust it to the right side. So right side, and as you can see, the gap between them became yellow. That means that they're the same. So this way, you can see that once the character stops, in the gap, there is no transition how it was here, you see. There is a transition, and there is no transition, now it's seamless. And the same way works on the left side. So if I'll record here some new information, or it's not gonna be more like, like this. And then I'm gonna take all of these guys, beside, so basically X, Z, Pitch your head, your body, your, and then adjust values to the left side. Now they also became yellow, but however, you have to be beware that even though they are gonna get adjusted, it doesn't fix the body, your, and like pitch or the direction of the body, so it just adjusts the values independently, not it doesn't change the trajectory of the path. So keep that in mind. Let's say we would like to make a marching army. With BBS 1.2.7, it is so much easier with the new tools provided. So, let's say I'd like to army of 20 by 20 troops. So this is gonna be 400. Since I have already one, I will duplicate only 399 times. And now I'm gonna select all of them by first selecting the first one and then selecting the last one while holding shift. And now I have to offset them. So the way it works is that I have to add a random number between zero, between negative one and one and multiply it by 10. Let's say it's gonna be, so wait, yeah, I think it's something like that. And then I also need to add a seed using the relative index. So it's O times thousand and let's see how it looks like. So now all of them are in a row. However, I'd also need to randomize their position on the Z axis. So on Z, uh, you can leave it the same. However, you also have to change this number in order to randomize it more. So in, if I didn't use this, if I use the same seed, so all times thousand, I think it was. Yeah, it, that's how it looked like which is not what we want. So, so again, select all of them, process replay, and then now we have an army of people, a big army. Some of them are colliding with each other, so it's not really optimal. So what I'm gonna do instead, I'm going to select all of them and I'm going to use a bit of math in order to make rows and uh, columns of actors. So the way it would work is uh, I would uh, think I need to modular operator and then negative 10 
because you have 20 rows. Yes, now it looks like correctly. And now I also need to do on the X axis by dividing and then um, rounding up. Now we have an army of 400 factors. Obviously, if you don't have a flat surface, it's not going to work very well. But since it's a flat surface, it works really well. Uh, that's not it. What we also can do is we can do like make it a little bit less, I guess, rigid or like very consistent. We can offset a uh, replay time. So here I can already had. So it's uh, we, I think it's a good idea to do something like this between. So it's going to be a random number between zero and four and surrounded. So it's between zero, one, two, three offsets. So now if I'm going to apply it, you can see that there's like some delay. Probably let's try maybe maybe again. I didn't really like how it looked like the place and then maybe all times. So number now random number. Oh, it goes inside here. So yeah, it looks more dynamic, but probably four ticks is too much. I'd say between zero and one is good enough. So I think for the play, maybe like this, just a tiny bit, just tiny. All right, this is how you create. But let's say you want all of these guys to do some animation. But you already duplicate some of them so many times. What can you do here? You can either remove all of them and then redo the process, or if it's not too much, you can take the first actor. Let's see where he is. He's over here. And let's say I want him to do a little animation. So I'm gonna take Diamond Sword here. And he is going to. Let's say he's gonna raise sword in the air with his right arm. Something like this. This is uh, fixed. So something like this for all of them. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take these keyframes and I'm gonna copy them. And then I'm going to select all of these guys besides the first one so all of these but the first one go to camera back i'm gonna move the cursor to the beginning you can actually move the cursor to any place you want if you want keyframes to appear at a different place however i think it's better to be in the original state so what you can do is go and replace and then paste keyframes here you can specify a little bit of uh, randomness i'd say one is good enough so now all of these guys have the same animation, even though not all of them <laughs> like had it. It's only the first one. And since the copied keyframes were applied to all of these, now you can do stuff like that, which is really cool. By the way, this feature was developed by Funky Fight. You just have to say it. Shout out to Funky Fight. And the final feature related to aids and multiple actors is called insert space. So the way it works is that let's say at uh, take 40 two seconds in, the army has to stop and then do some action, I guess. It was changed in the middle of the scene. So if you don't want to record everything and then reset up everything else, there is a, this useful feature called insert space. What it does, you can specify here how many ticks of space to insert. So let's say I want to insert three seconds of emptiness so it's gonna be three times 20 which is should be 60 ticks so here if i'm going here how it was like it was like this before and now this is how it is after there are 60 ticks of additional emptiness basically inserted um doesn't change the camera so you have to readjust the camera so like that and now we have here some emptiness. So what, what now I can do is I'm going to take the first actor and then probably 
let's say, go and reset the pose. Right here. Maybe something like that. I'm gonna take these keyframes, move to 40, and then select all of the actors in between the second and the 400. So let's see. No. Paste. Okay. And let's see how it looks like. Awesome. Let's say you were making some thumbnail. Here I have a model block and I initially I wanted to make as a thumbnail. So let's go into the film editor and let's say this is a screenshot I wanted. However, oh, this pose is not exactly what I wanted. But now if I'd like to edit it, I'll have to go back into the model block editor and then change the pose here. For example, let's say I'd like to fix the Z fighting by changing the torso. This isn't optimal when editing, so here is a feature to help you. What you can do is uh, pick this option from model block and then select it. Now you have the replay uh, over here instead of model block. And now you can basically change the pose yourself. Let's say I'm gonna change it like that and then move, rotate so that the character is looking directly at the camera. Last but not least, it's a QL option, which basically allows you to now browse the URL loaded images from the folder. So here I can change between, but if you like, you can select the, you can type in or paste the URL, but now if it's cached, now you can also select it from the list over here from HTTP if it was loaded through the non-secure protocol or HTTPS if it was loaded through secure protocol. So yeah, that, that slaps. So that's it, uh-huh. It's been a long journey. Too bad it didn't last longer. I really hope you would enjoy creating machinimas, roleplays, MCTVs or just videos with BBS mod. Thank you very much for your support over the years. I think BBS mod didn't really caught up with Blockbuster mod feature-wise, but it has its own cool features that aren't equal to any in Blockbuster mod. So yeah, thank you very much for watching and goodbye!